Na, haben wir einen. Ja, ja. get from today's activities but for the children we'll just be mainly if we're focusing on physical a range of physical activities today so it necessarily wouldn't be a session you you you'd um, you know deliver for a full a full hour but that's how we'll run the session today is there any questions before we start or we're happy to to get on and get going okay let's go okay boys and girls Okay, what I want you to do to start with is we're just going to do a nice steady away warm-up activity. So within this space, within the gym, what we're going to get you to do, okay, is just start, start jogging around. And whenever you pass one of your friends, okay, we just want you to give them a high five. Okay, nice and simple high five. Then what I'm going to start to do is bring, bring in some different calls. Okay, so we may start to ask you to start skipping or moving in different ways. And we may also ask you to start doing a low five or a jump and a high five, etc. Does that make sense? Okay, so just start jogging around the space. Whenever you pass one of your friends, nice and steady to start with. Whenever you're jogging, just give a high five, yeah? Use the space. That's it, now use the space. Use the space, guys, use the space. Okay, I just want to give a low five this time. Okay, nice and low. Give him a low five, yeah? <coughs> Good. Good. Keep moving. Okay, and now instead of running, I just want you to go into a skip. A skip in action, nice and light on your feet. You can still include the, low, the high fives. We'll go back to high fives when you pass a friend. High fives still here. Yeah. Use the space, guys. Use the space. Change direction. Nice and light on your feet. Nice and light. Get a bounce in there. Good.
Okay, guys, just rest a minute. Okay, what we're going to do is just a walking action. I want you to think about running technique, walking with a high knee and bringing, using the arm through, okay? No high fives, just have a little bit of a rest into that walking high knee action. Okay, so spread out, spread out. So opposite arm and leg, opposite arm and leg, drive that knee up. Good. So spread out a bit, girls, spread out a bit. So we're going to get a good knee drive and drive that arm through. So your arm, mate, use your arm, use your arm there. Opposite arm and leg, opposite arm. Okay, jump in again, guys, back to high fives. Oh. Don't slap. Okay guys, this time moving around, we want you to move side to side, okay? Three or four steps, and then change the direction. Three or four steps, and then move the other way. We want you to try and keep your hips square, yeah? Hips and shoulders all square. Can still have some high fives in there, yeah? Change direction as well on the skip. Okay, and rest guys, rest. We're going back into the high knee march. Okay, some people before were going knee drive, same arm. What we want, opposite arm, opposite leg. In that position, elbow bent at 90 degrees. Okay, hand, hand coming to hip height. Nice, strong, nice, stable action, okay? Just go again. Concentrate on those techniques. Arm. Knee drive, opposite arm and leg. Get some space, spread out. Nice strong, nice strong driver mix route. Okay. Okay, guys, back to uh, side to side running. Four or five steps one way, and then change direction. Put a low five in there as well with your mate. Good. Keep square. Keep square. Okay, now change that to a bit oh, backward run. We're running backwards. Watch where you're going. Don't collide. Try not to sit around in a circle, mix the direction up. Okay, and back to the march guys, back to the march. Concentrate on that technique, arm, knee drive. Okay, if you can, pull that foot up so your toe's not pointing to the floor. Spread out, yeah, keep spread out. Okay, guys, and now I want you to take that to a high knee run. So same action, we're running with high knees. Good. Use your arms, use your arms. Drive your arms. Oh, we got a high five still. Okay guys, just back to jogging, last, last 30 seconds. Jogging, this time we're going to go jump and a high five to your partner. Jogging, jumping, high five. Have a little jump in there. Oh, don't collide. Okay, and rest guys, and rest. We nice and warm? Yeah. Okay, go get a drink. I'm just having a chat to the coaches for a a couple of minutes, have a drink, have a rest. <coughs> okay everyone, so a warm up activity, okay, really getting, getting the body temperature raised,
breathing rate increase, etc. But what we're, from a physical perspective, what were we focusing on? Anyone? So we had some multi-directional movement in there, so running forward, and then we include some sideways lateral movement, backwards movement. Okay, yeah, good. Anything else? Spatial awareness. So, spatial awareness. Spatial awareness, yes, that's probably some cognitive within there as well, cognitive thing from a physical perspective. So when we were looking at focusing on the high knee drive, if we get that to a high knee run, what would, what would you class that as? Running technique, running mechanics, try to emphasize some things that we want to see in the running. Which one do you want to pick up on the, some of the key coaching points that either me or Stacey were using? Okay, toe, toe position, yeah. Toe up, yeah, so we want that, that foot pulled up. Actually, a lot of the kids were probably that position. We want that nice, strong ankle position there, yeah, good. Any others? So. Arm, arm action, ideally at a 90 degree angle, yeah. Some were doing that well. Some were opposite arm, opposite leg. Any others? Probably one more. Opposite arm and leg, yeah. And that knee drive as well, getting that knee drive up there. So some key, some key coaching points within an environment where they can get warm, okay? So a traditional raised warm-up type activity. Okay, again, lots of variations of how you could do that in, in certain areas, but focusing on multi-directional movement, a bit of running mechanics. The next section we're going to go into is a, is a focus on more strength and stability type work, okay, which is, in my experience, something that's not delivered as much within a you know, children's coaching environment. So we're going to do some, some basic movements and then try and put them into a little bit more creative environment as well where the, the children can, can practice that. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go. Uh, any questions so far? Okay, good. Okay, boys and girls, come round. We got his breath back? Yeah. Got your breath back? Okay, we're nice and warm? Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to, um, we're going to focus on some more strength-based exercises, okay? So we're going to try and teach you the exercise to start with, all right? And then try and put that in a little bit uh, where you can be a bit more fun and creative with it, okay? Has anybody heard of doing a, a squat? Yeah. yeah? Does anyone want to demonstrate what that might look like? Yeah? Okay, do you want to step out here? Okay, just go side down, side down, side down to the group and try that again. Yeah, okay, a few points. What we want when we're doing a squat, guys, is you want, you want your feet flat on the floor. So you went onto your toes, didn't you? So you onto there. Feet flat, ideally weight through your heels. Okay, what we're going to do, arms out, that helps you balance. Okay, and then from there you're going, going to sit back, and ideally we're looking to get into this sort of position. So your back is nice and straight. So what I want you to do, just get a bit of a space around me. Okay, not too, not too far. Okay, a bit of a circle. Okay, I want you to try and practice, okay, 10, ten, bo ten bodyweight squats. Okay, off we go. Just in your own time. So we want arms up at shoulder height, try to keep your chest out, back nice and straight, feet flat on the floor. Excellent, good. Well, just keep your, keep your chest out, mate, keep your chest out. That's right, so don't just, yeah. Excellent, great. Okay, we've done 10. Really good, that. Really good. Well done. A couple of things, a couple of points to think about before we do another set is we want the back to be straight. So some people are rounding the back. So you've really got to try and push your chest out, keep your arms up. Okay? With your feet position, try and get a nice, a nice wide stance. So some people are quite close. So nice wide stance, feet pointing slightly out. Okay? That helps you keep a stable base. Okay? So we can, can keep that position there and get nice and low. With the knees, we don't want them coming in. Try and keep them out over the toes. Okay, so we try another 10 reps. Excellent, well done. Excellent, well done. Good, that's it, keep that chest straight. Keep that chest straight. I think 
I'll say, we'll go for the exercises and then let them do it. Okay, well done, guys. Brilliant, really good squatting, and, and people can improve massively there straight away. Okay, reading, has anyone do, does anyone do that as part of their training? No? Okay, that's a really important exercise to get what muscles strong? What part of the body? The thighs. The thighs, yeah? Okay, and any and others? And the, the, the bum muscle here. So we, me and Stacey would encourage you to do them type of exercises. Okay, the next one is, we're going to do is called a lunge. Has anyone done a lunge before? Okay, we're going to demonstrate. Good, really good, okay. Just, just, if we do that again, what we want is don't, don't stretch too far, okay? So just a bit of a short step. What we want is a, um, sort of 90 degree bend there and 90 degree at the back leg. If you just show that one again. That's it, and then back, back to the starting position, and then step with the other leg. Okay. Yeah, so like there, back, back, yeah. Okay? So what we're gonna do, guys, you're gonna do six each leg, step out, come back, okay, other leg, Step out and back. You're going to try six each leg. Let's give that a go. So I want to try and keep your upper body straight. Let's try and keep that body straight there. Don't, don't rest on that front leg if you can. Good, good. Okay guys, rest there, just spread out a little bit more, give yourselves a bit of space. Okay, really good again. What we're seeing is that some people, you're leaning forward. Ideally, what we want is your upper body to be straight. So straight shin, straight body, and you feel a little bit of a stretch there as well. Okay, so don't, don't step too big, and it allows you to then keep that, and don't lean forward on that leg, because that means you're leaning forward. So we'll try that five each leg again, okay? Don't lean on that leg and keep that upper body straight there, yeah? Good. Well done, girls, well done. <laughs> so think about as you step and you push that floor away. Push away. Okay, excellent, well done. Big improvements there, okay? Feel that on his leg muscles? Feel that, okay, good. Next one we're going to do, okay? We're just gonna go a single leg balance. So this one's quite simple, okay? You're just gonna stand on one leg and just bend your knee and your hip slightly so we're in that position. Again, weight through the heel, chest out nice and tall. Okay, so we'll go one leg, hold that position nice and strong. Close your eyes, makes it a little bit more difficult. Oh no, well done. Okay, change legs. Change legs. Good, okay. Well done guys, relax. Okay, so now we're just going to go into the couple of lower body exercises we've done. We're going to go into a couple of upper body exercises. Okay, the first one, has anyone done a plank before? Yeah. Oh, let's have a different. Do you want to give me a demonstration? Yeah. Good, yeah, so what we're in, so we're going to do it on his elbows. Okay, and what we want is a straight line from the head all the way to the feet, yeah. So we're in this position and we're nice and strong. Okay, and we're gonna try and hold that position. And this is working your core muscles, okay? This is your core, that's really important. So if we go down into that position. So on your elbows, and we're gonna try and get your hips up. So just bring your hips up a bit, mate. Your hips down slightly, your hips down slightly, hips down slightly. You won't live for two and a half minutes, do you? Go. Can you get a little bit higher? 
Okay, rest guys, have a little rest. 10 second rest and we're gonna go again. You wanna go again? We're gonna go. What? No, we're not, we're not, we're not rested. We're not, uh, we're not timing. Okay, we're gonna go that again. Another 20 seconds, can we hold that? 20 seconds, are we ready? Let's go. So hips down slightly, mate, hips down slightly. So hips down if you can, get your chest, chest out. That's 10, that's 10. Okay guys, rest. Right. Last one we're gonna do is a, is a push up. Who's done a push up? I bet most people have done a press up. Yeah, a press up, have a push up. Yeah, do you wanna have a demonstration? Okay, good. So what we want, I, what we're trying to get as low as you can to the floor and full extend, okay? If you can't do it in, on that position, then just feel free to go onto your knees, okay? Down and push up. I want you to try and do, as, <coughs> do six reps as good as you can, okay? Nice. Strong, yeah? Yeah, go onto your knees if you need to. Give it a go. Should we, um, should we split them in two? Oh, no, we're we'll doing them all together, it's all right. Should we, like, do it? Yeah. Okay, guys, just come round, come round. Really good, well done, okay? So that's some, 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 some basic exercises in terms of getting strong, okay? What we're going to do now is put this into a little bit more of a, a fun way for you to express yourselves, okay, using some of those, some of those actions. So we're going to use the space again, okay, and I'm going um, to give you some different animals to... To, that you need to get in the positions like, okay? So if I said get in a position like a gorilla, what would you, what would you, what would that position be like? Oh, yeah. What, what exercise, what exercise was, was that like? Squat. Squat. Okay. So like a gorilla, we want to try and get get as low as we can, hands on the floor, okay? And what you're going to do from there is you're just going to try and walk around in that position. Okay. Give that a go. So get some space, guys. Okay, so we're walking around like a gorilla, okay guys? Get nice and low, get them hips low. Okay, try and keep your chest out. Short steps, oh, you've got some dodging going on in there. Is that it? Spread out, spread out girls. Spread out. Okay, have a rest, just walk, just walk, spread out guys, everyone just spread out, use the space. Okay, and same again into that gorilla position, try and get them hips nice and low, arms in between there, chest nice and straight, yep. Let's go. Yeah, okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, rest guys, rest. Okay, this time, get some space. Just want you to balance in that position like a flamingo. Like a flamingo, oh, that's nice, well done. Show us that, show us, demonstrate that one for us. The flamingo. Yes, brilliant. Let's have a go with that. On one leg, guys. So think around the leg you're balancing on and then get that other leg up behind you. And we're going to change legs, change legs. Okay, so from that position guys, we just want you to like hop like a flamingo. So you're on one leg, we want you to hop and then try and land it, okay? Let's give that a go. So landing, so hop and land, 
Change legs, change legs. So guys, hop and then try and land it, okay? Don't just keep hopping, hop and land it. Nice arm action. Okay guys, well done. Okay, this time we're gonna go, we're gonna crawl like a bear. Okay, so we're gonna get in this position. Okay, we're gonna crawl around using your arms and your legs. Okay? Give that a go. Don't look too excited. Get some space, use the space. Nice, well done. <laughs> Good, keep working. Mix it up, good. Try and keep on your hands and your feet. Nice and strong arms. Okay, guys, on your feet. On your feet. Do you need a little rest? Yeah. Need a little rest? I'll go get a drink, go get a drink. Is that enough or? Okay, everyone. <coughs> Obviously quite new for some of those guys. What, what was the main physical characteristic or attribute we were probably working on there? Strength, yep. So working on strength and stability. So what were some of the, what were some of the exercises that we used? Just to start with basic body weight exercises. Sorry. Squats and lunges, yeah, good. Any others? Single leg balance. Gross motor movement, last one there. Sorry. Gross motor movements, yep. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> we, also, we also had a push up and a plank across stability exercise in there. So, um, you know, to start, we just tried to keep their movements basic and learn the technique. And then obviously, we brought that into a little bit more fun, engaging activity where they portrayed animals, doing different movement patterns that were similar to those things. Actually, you could see that the, the children found that quite, quite difficult in relation to actually being able to control their, their own body weight, which is something that we wanted to, to do initially, as shown in the paperwork, in relation to getting strong in terms of controlling their own body weight before then we'd, you know, as, as, as we go into working with our more adolescent athletes, start to increase some resistance in, in relation to that. Okay, so a sort of activity is what we'd recommend is, is, is getting some strength work in the session following a raise activity would be, would be appropriate, okay, <coughs> and learning some basic activities and then trying to put that in a fun environment would be, it would be a good, uh, would, be, would be a recommendation of ours. Can everybody hear me or, so, okay, don't know if we might need to come a bit closer, okay. What we're going to go on to next is looking at some um, speed, speed, speed type work, some acceler acceleration type work uh, in terms of increasing the intensity again with, with the children, okay? So that's the, that's the next part of the session. Okay, guys, have we had a rest, a drink? <coughs> okay, are we ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Who, like, who likes running fast? <laughs> Most of you, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to start to do a bit a bit of speed a bit of speed work. All right. So what we want you to do is get in get in groups of three, and then if each group just gets one tennis ball. Okay. 
Okay. Are you a, are you a, are you a group? Okay. So okay, what we're going to do? Just with this group, I'll just demonstrate what we're going to do. All right, and then everyone can will be able to find some space and, and have a go. Okay. So one person will be holding the tennis ball. One person will be the, will be running. Okay, and then one person will be rest, resting, and then you'll rotate it round with those three people. So do you want to be my runner to start with? Yeah. So we're going to start on this line. Okay, you're going to start on this line. The person with the tennis ball is going to stand on this line. Okay? The idea is that the person with the ball holds it out. Alright? When I drop it, you need to run and get, try and get it as quick as you can. Okay? Good, one bounce. There's no one nearly. Okay, do we get the drill guys? So if we use this line as the starting line, that line for dropping to start with, okay, and work that round, you work that in your own time and then we'll, we'll add some coaching in to start with. So you can just take an in So, yeah, you can work in a two. Wait, can you drop it without the other person knowing? Well no, because he needs to look to start with. Good. Okay, right. Yeah, you become the dropper, then you come the dropper and just rotate it down, yeah? I said the BT won't go. No, no, you just drop it. You're on the dropper now, yeah? Oh, wow. Who can get it on one bounce? Who can get it on one bounce? Oh, nearly. That's it, swap it over, good. Don't. Try not to die, mate, don't dive. Right, stand out on the line, start on the line, yep. Good. No, no dummy, and let's do it properly, yep. Oh, nearly. Good. Oh, get the ball. Oh. Oh, nearly. Well done. Yes, one bounce. Some, some really fast accelerations, okay? So this first few steps, what you're doing is called an acceleration, okay? What do you think you need to do to make that acceleration as fast as possible? Bend your legs. Bend, what do you mean? Like, and then go. Okay, so you start in position. Leap off yeah. the leg. What's that? Leap off from the leg. Leap off that leg. Okay, so you were pushing off your back leg. Probably what we want is to push off this front leg, okay? Anything else? Anything else? Can you remember what we were doing in the warm-up? What were some of the, some of the things we were emphasising? When we were running. Jogging. We were jogging, yeah. What, what, what actions were we saying? Arms. Arms, okay. So if we're in this starting position, the arms ready, so you really want to push off this front leg and drive those arms as fast as you can to try and get to that ball as quick as you can. Okay? 
that makes sense? Well, we really want to get to that ball as quick as we can. What we're going to do is the, the dropper is going to stay on the same line. The runners are just going to come back to this, this white line. Okay, so you've got a little bit further run. So think about those techniques, okay? Think around your starting position. Three bounces. One, two. I think you, if, you, if you do it well, you can get it in two. Two bounces. Two bounces. Nearly. Fast as you can, fast as you can. <coughs> yeah, 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 nothing. Okay. Technique one. What typical cues would you use for the arm action? So if it was on the one that I was talking about, it was a bit of pocket to ice. Yeah, that's what, I mean, that's what Stacey was saying, sort of like uh, hip to lip. So like from, from the hip there, hand up to sort of I guess mouth, mouth height there, and then try to keep that to keep that 90 degree you bend. Because obviously at this age kids probably don't understand dorsiflexion. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything for the for the toe? Yeah. Just I think it's just not. I don't. Yeah. Oh, I, just just pull, I think it's just pull. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that's that's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that alright? No problem. Are you on the yellow? It, it doesn't matter too much. You're alright. Good, well done. Well done, good. We're getting it in two. Two bounces, yeah? Well done. Good, well done. Think about that starting position and arm drive, arm drive, yeah? Well done. Fast as you can, fast as you can, well done. Let's go. When you're in that starting position, get your opposite arm there, yeah? Opposite arm and ready to go. He wasn't ready, was he? Get in that starting position, opposite arm, and then drive as fast as you can. Go. Same drill, this time the runner, okay, is going to start on the floor, okay, so you've got to get off the floor, get to the ball as quick as you can, okay, a few more minutes of this and then we're going to have another drinks break, okay, we got it? Good. So we're trying, still got to push up. You've got to use your arms, push off that floor as fast as you can, and then get to the ball. Go, 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 go. Oh. That's okay, you're okay there, yeah. Oh. Can you get it in two? Go. Oh, nearly. Ah, knock on. Three, three bounces on this one. Fast as you can. Go, go, go. Oh. How, can we, how can we get off that floor as quick as you can? Lose your legs and push off your arms as well, yeah? Well done, good. Thank you. 
Two. Yeah. Well done. Look at they're thinking around the starting position here. Well done. I'll try a few more of those. Okay. What, what else you get off the floor as quick as you can? Um, jumping onto one leg and then sprinting. So jumping onto one leg and then pushing that off. Okay, good. What were some of the girls doing here? Leaving one leg and bent on the floor. Okay, and what does that help you do? It like, helps you get up quicker. Helps you get up quicker and then what can you do? Push, push off it, okay. So there's some things we can use on his legs, and then once we're up, what do we need to use as well? Arms. Arms, okay. We keep saying arms, we, the, our arms help us run fast as well. So once we get off that floor, let's use them arms as hard as we can to get to that ball as quick as we can, okay? So we're going to have one more minute of this, couple more, see if you can get it within two bounces. Alright, some of the girls have been doing that, okay. Have the boys been doing that? I've got three. Three, let's get two, yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. Arms, 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 arms. Oh, nail it. When you're on the floor, don't put your arms there, because you've got no strength. Put them there, yeah? That helps you get off the floor. See how he's doing that as well. How many? Three? That was three. Three. Two. Oh, we said it. Good. Well done. That's it. That's better with your arms there. Yeah, good. Go, 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 go. Oh, far. Oh. Oh, Is that better? Well done, mate. Let's go get it. Oh, two, that was a good bounce. That's it, mate. Off the floor quick as you can. Go, go. Good arm action. Well done. Are we tired? Yes. Are you okay? I'm tired. Okay, boys and girls. Just go get a drink. Have a drink. Have a rest for a couple of minutes. Well done. Excellent work on that drill. Good. Okay guys, main, main physical attribute we're working on there. So the, the action, probably not what I was thinking, but there's a, a definitely an element of the action. Speed, specifically. Acceleration, those first few, few steps, okay. So obviously the balls in there is reaction. That works quite well in terms of getting the kids to uh, control their own actions and pace of the drill. Okay, key, key technical points, key actions that we're looking for. Is that so? so pushing the floor away, that first step, first couple of steps is really important. Okay, good. Anything else? So acceleration, yeah, from those first few steps. And then again, still the arm action within there that we brought in from the warm up. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. There was a variation in what they were, when they were pushing off, some were 
switching off with the legs. So okay. Right. Yeah. I just wondered if they, if they knew which the best leg to push off from was. Yeah, I, I, but that's probably a good point in that I should have probably got them to try and push off both legs as well. Yeah, they never, 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 yeah because they just did that. And I, yeah, I, did, I didn't pick up on that, so that's a good point. I think they'll have just done what came natural in a way to their, in terms of their starting position. And as a coach, we should have emphasised, because in a game, in a sporting environment, you need to push off both legs. So, excellent point. What's the sporting background, sir? Are they coming from a school or are they coming from a club? These, these children are just from a school. So I, I don't know, and they've probably not done. They've probably not had any of this type of work before. Um, so the point there from the, the gentleman was in relation to um, the children always starting on the same foot and having a favoured starting point, which uh, for me and Stacey haven't probably picked up in, or we haven't coached in relation to them getting using both feet to, to push off and accelerate. So that's you know, a reflection for those in terms of getting them to use, use both, uh, both legs as a starting point to, to encourage them to do that. So thank you. <coughs> OK, uh, we're going to progress to some um, sort of relay-based work and uh, agility-based work uh, to, to finish with, and then we'll have some Q&A &A time at the end. OK, we'll just set, just set up to two minutes. We OK? We OK? Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think? Far boobs? Finish with what, Seth? Finish with what? Yeah, so I'm going to, you know, that obstacle is Oh, do I? All right, we'll keep this fail, we'll keep this fail, Sean. Take Shall we group them? Uh, I think we're going to have two fours and two threes. OK, guys, listen up. Listen up, I'm going to give you a number. OK, once I give you that number, so number ones, opposite. Number ones there, twos, threes, four, OK? So if you get in lines in, in, in those numbers. Okay, one, two, three, four. So you can fall over there. Where's one? One, one down at the bottom. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Where's four? Four here. Four. Where's three? One, two, three, four. Four, three, and we've got left. One and two. One, two. So one's at the end. Two's there, yeah. So start on this line. Start on this line. So freeze. Are you freeze? Are you freeze? You freeze opposite this cut these cones here. Are you twos yet? So on this line. Okay, guys, we're gonna do some um, we're gonna do some melees. Okay, some running melees now. <coughs> First one, you're gonna start on the white line. Start on the white line. Start on the white line. The next white line. Okay. One at a time in the groups. Out to the white cone. Back as fast as you can. Touch your partner, next one goes. I five your partner. Did you get that, guys? Did you get that? So, on my right white cone, turn, back, tag your partner, next one goes. 
You remember those actions yet? Arm action, knee drive. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, the big in the rules there for me. Oh, that was close. That was close. Well done. I couldn't pick a winner that one. Okay, back on your feet. Guys, really good running. I saw some good arm action, good knee drive, and some really good effort front foot on the white line. We're going to do the same again. <coughs> Remember, push off as hard as we can, accelerate away. Go! Good, well done. Good, go, 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 go. Well done. Oh. One and three winners. It's two and four seconds. Well done. Okay, some really good running, guys. We're going to do. Okay, back on your feet. Okay. A question, listen. Question. How do, you, how do you get that turn at the white cone as fast as possible? Reach down, okay, so we want to get there, but you don't want to get your legs too wide apart, okay? So we want to get low, feet together, push off. Guys, you don't need to run around the cone, you just need to go to the cone, push off and push back, okay? Some people have gone around it. Okay, so think about your turn as well when you're changing direction. You're starting the group off this time. Getting a good lead. Are we ready? Go! Good, good. Get low, push off, accelerate away. Go, 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 go. Going all right? Or? Going all right? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to enjoy it. Sure. Let's try it, aren't we? Let's try it. Good. Oh, one and three again. All right, well done. One and three again, yep. Well done. Okay, guys, back on your feet. Are we tired? No? Okay, this time, this time guys, you need to listen carefully. I'm going to call out some colours, okay? They're the colours that you run to, okay, before coming home. So if I called out yellow, okay, we go to yellow, I've got to call out red, red, blue, okay, turn, and then you're back to touch your partner. Just turn again on the cone, you don't need to touch it, okay? But everybody does the same pattern, but we've got to listen and watch, watch your teammates as well. There's going to be more change of directions in this one, okay? More change of directions, so think about how we're turning, getting nice and low. Are we understand? We got it? Make sense? I'm going to call it out and then that's when you go, so don't set off too early. When they come back, then you go and do the same pattern. So watch what they do as well. Blue, red, yellow. Good, well done. Somebody cheated there, didn't they? Keep going, keep going. That's right. Did you win? So that was a practice. Do we all know what we're doing? Do we all know what we're doing now? Okay. Let's listen. There's a couple that didn't go. They didn't go to the right cones then. One 
what do you need to think about on the turns? Getting low, yeah? yeah. Get low on those turns because they're quite quick now, okay? Let's try and turn off both feet. Okay, so when you're turning, get nice and low, mate, and push off as hard as you can. Okay. Are we ready? Blue, yellow, white. Yellow, get top, get low on the turns, push off, get to the cone. And go, mate, all the way back. Well done, well done, great running. Get low, mate, get low, push off, push off and go. And go, go, get low on the turn, low on the turn. Well done. Go all the way in, all the way. <laughs> all the way in, all the way in. Last one, last one, let's go, go, go. Blue, get low on the turn, get low on the turn. All the way in, all the way in. Oh. It's a draw, four, four way tie. Excellent work. Yes. Um, yeah, how should we do it? person starts and Go on, do a second. We got it, we got it guys. So three of you, three of you in that position. Just rest guys, rest till you're ready. Just have a rest until you're ready mate. So guys, keep them hips down, keep your hips down. Try and keep flat. Are ready, Steve? Are ready? Come on, quick, quick, quick. Get ready to go. Spread out a little bit, spread out a little bit, spread out a little bit more. Spread out a little bit more, guys. <laughs> guys, spread out a little bit, spread out, spread out, hold down, hold down. Keep going, keep the mix down. I think it's an advantage of three. I think because they've got three. <laughs> keep 
keep going, mate. Keep going, keep going. Spread out, spread out to the blue corner, to the blue corner. Well done, well done, now we're there. Just like get a drink. Yeah, yeah. Come on, all the way in, all the way to the corner. Last one, come on, finish it. Okay, guys, go get a drink, go get a drink, well done. Was that hard? Was that hard? What was that? What was the hard bit about that? I don't know. Yeah, the crawling or the press up position? I don't know, we just felt hard. Alright, oh, good effort though. Shall we set up something here? Thinking safe. Forward roll on there. What? Roll on there. Jump off the box before me. Yeah. I'll put some uh, hurdles out. Should we give them like a course to go on one huh? yeah. Should we give them like a course and just let them? Yeah. So maybe like start their zigzags? Yeah. So maybe like zigzag through, jumps, come yeah. back, run yeah. through, over them however they want. Okay guys, boys and girls just come round. Okay, just come round, come round. Okay. Girls, okay, just listen up, okay, we've got just another another ten, 10 minutes to go, okay, and this is going to be a bit more of an opportunity for you, you to sort of to play, okay, so what, what we've set up is a little bit of a, um, sort of like an obstacle course, okay, so we're, just, we're going to go in sort of a single file starting here on these cones, so what we want, 
Oh, it's up to you how you do it. I want you to try and explore. But in and out of the cones. Do you want me to demonstrate? Yes. Yeah. OK. Oh, you're putting the pressure on there, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> in and out. In and out of the, I'm not going to demonstrate. In and out of the cones. Jumps over the hurdles. Oh, we have to go under it. If you want to go under it, you can go under it. They might be a bit, sm they might be a bit small though. Yeah, two foot jumps. Okay, run back, run over these hurdles. Okay, then you've got the boxes. You can get up and over the boxes however you want. And you're basically going to finish, you're going to finish on this blue mat. So if you want to jump off there or do a forward roll off there or a, a flip off there, that's up to you. Okay? So, do you want to? If we get in a single, uh, a single line, you're starting. What do you do there? Uh, that's up to you. You do whatever you want there, okay? Are you going to lead us off? You don't, you don't set off until he's through these cones. You get to decide whatever you want to so you're going to go through here, yeah. in over them hurdles, run back down, over those hurdles, over the boxes, through these boxes, and then finish that. If you want to, but go, go careful. I will not I'll just do. I'll tell them anything you want to go um, and do. Again, to start in different areas as well. Fine, I'll go. Yeah. Over the edge. I'll just turn them. Yeah. I just thought they might just do a like a course. Just thought they might all back up behind you. I'll just set them. So I'll set them off. Or? Whatever you want, okay? So run on. Are we going on that pedal? Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Okay, guys. We've got 10 minutes, okay, for you to try these different activities. Are you excited? Yeah? Okay, are you ready? When you ready yet? That's it. Yeah, if you want to, yeah. Think around here, nice quick feet, nice quick feet in and out, okay? It's okay, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right, mate, it's okay. Think about getting around the cones, nice quick feet in and out, yeah? Them. So you're not going over them, so we're going there, yeah? Nice quick feet in and out, okay? That's it. Push up that foot, nice smaller steps. Alright, alright. So how can we get in and out of them as quick as you can? Nice short steps. There we go. That's it, well done.
Yeah, do whatever you want, mate. Yeah, you can do whatever you want in this in this net for the next next ten minutes. Uh, you, well, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. 